In this video, we're gonna be talking about the new priority schemes that are slowly rolling out to folks. I am in the early access program in the beta and we're gonna be actually taking a look at how these priority schemes work and talk about how you're gonna be able to leverage these and honestly, this is quite the game changer. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, drop a like if you get value of this video and don't forget to check out all the different links down below as I have my merch store, paid courses and links to all the sponsors of this video that make these videos possible. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. All right, let's jump into Jira and let's take a look at this brand new feature that is hopefully coming to you soon. This is a technically a 2.0. A few weeks ago, I did do like a teaser that this was coming. And so now it is finally enabled in my project. And so to get to it, you're gonna click on the gear, you're gonna go to issues. And then on the left-hand side, you're gonna scroll down and you are looking for priorities. Now, if you're not in this early access program, you're just gonna see priorities like you've normally always been able to see. But if you followed my instructions from that video from a few weeks ago and you actually went and signed up for this beta, then you're gonna be able to see the priority schemes. And this, folks, is what we're gonna be talking about today. This is brand new, totally new functionality, and I'm really, really excited to try this out. Now, a couple of disclaimers before we get too far. Number one, if you're on Jira server, Jira data center, you probably think this is a silly video because you've had this functionality for forever. In the cloud, this is not even here yet, right? This is still very much at the beginning phases of this, so I'm very, very excited. This is why I'm so excited, because this is something that I've been wanting for a very long time, just wasn't available in the cloud. So finally, it's available here. And number two, this is the first time that I'm actually seeing this and using this. So this is gonna be bumpy. This video is gonna be me doing a little bit of experimentation. So bear with me. There might be a lot of cuts here as I may or may not make a whole lot of mistakes. And so you're, what you're seeing here is gonna be my raw reaction to a feature that I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. So let's take a look at how to use it and let's see how intuitive it is, right? I have not read any documentation on this. I'm just gonna be clicking around and seeing how easy it is to use as a first timer, right? I just never ever used these uh, priority schemes before. Are you tired of manual backups when it comes to Jira Cloud? If you've ever tried to back up Jira Cloud, then you know that it's not the most intuitive thing in the world. Well, let me introduce you to Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud. This app is made by my good friends over at Rewind, and it basically automates your backups in Jira Cloud. Now, it takes a few minutes to set up, and after that, you can enjoy manual or automated backups, and your data will never be lost ever again. Use the link in the description below to start a free trial. So the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is, I always like to make copies, but I can't. So I'm gonna click on Add Priority Scheme, and I'm gonna give this a new priority scheme. Um, priority scheme for, I don't know, uh, Kanban demo project, right? I always recommend that you give these things good descriptions so that you can really identify what they are. Having priority scheme one, priority scheme two, three, four, five, not gonna be helpful down the road. Give it a good name. I like to include the project name or the project key in your name so that you know, hey, these two go together, right? And then you can give it a description this one can be yada, yada, yada. And then your priorities. This is where we're going to start adding priorities. So it's interesting that I can only add the priorities that are already available. I would have expected maybe being able to create your own, but let's just go with this for now. We're going to experiment this in a little bit. Let's leave out medium. Let's, you know what? Let's just leave out lowest, right? We're just going to do this. And I honestly would have thought, you know what? Let's just, let's just do a three level priority. I think it would have been cooler that I can add new values, but let's see if we can do that a little bit later. So I'm gonna just simply add these and I'm gonna click add to priority scheme and that's it. So that's all I need to worry about here. So now what I think I need to do then is if I wanted to make new ones, I think I have to go back to priorities and this is where you're gonna make them available. And so I think this is right. So so you, if you're following like a IEEE standard, you might do like critical, and you unfortunately do need to select all this stuff so you just can't like randomly make things up. So I'm just gonna do like critical and I'm gonna add another one like major. Oh, didn't like it, didn't like it. So we'll do FF. You gotta do, you gotta do the hex values folks. You gotta do the hex values. So we'll do that and then let's do like major, right? Just a couple, not, nothing too out of the top here. Just We just wanna see how these work here. And we're going to do hashtag FF, FF, 
zero, zero. I don't even know what color that's going to be, but we're just going to play with it. Here we go. We got a yellow and a red. Okay, awesome. I actually really like that bright red. And so now I'm suspecting that now if I go back to my priority schemes and I go back to that new priority scheme that I made, I should be able to edit it here. Yes, I can. And I'm going to just get rid of these and I'm going to bring in the new ones. Yep. So here's my critical. Here's my major. And I'm just going to add medium just for fun. I'm going to get rid of low and make uh, medium my default. I don't think you only want to cry wolf when you have to, folks. And I'm going to click on save changes here. As a Jira admin, we've all been there before. Our users go in and hit delete on an issue. And even though Jira tells them, hey, once you delete this, it's gone. It's gone forever and there is no undoing it. And yet they still click on that red button and that Jira issue is deleted. Only moments later to have a change of heart and then ask you as a Jira admin to, hey, can you restore that issue that I just deleted? So you know that that's really not possible, but let me introduce you to Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud, an app made by my good friends over at Rewind. Now you'll be able to restore deleted issues. So even though your users don't follow the warnings that Jira gives them, rest assured that using Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud, you'll be able to bring back those deleted issues. Use the link in the description down below to start a free trial. The final step is you want to apply this priority scheme to a project. And I really like that I can do this from here because in most other types of configurations, you typically have to go into the project and swap the schemes out. I really, really like this interface here. At last, if you can roll this kind of thing out for everything else, like your workflow schemes, your permission schemes, everything, all the other schemes, this right here, probably some of your best work here, folks. Being able to select the project here, I think I'm telling you game changer, because normally what I would have to do, and let's even go, let's go check and see if this even works, right? So normally what you have to do is you got to go into a project. So I'm going to go into this Michael demo project here. You go to your project settings and then you come down to your, oh, well, this is probably why you normally can't do it because there's no priority section normally. And so not being able to do this from the project settings makes so much sense as to why you would do it from over there. But awesome. Well, th this is this is cool. This is interesting, right? So recap what I just learned. One, from the UI of that priority scheme, you can add it to the projects. And the reason they did it that way is because in the project itself, there's no place for you to go and like swap out the schemes. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Usually when you like want to swap out a, like a screen scheme, you come here, you click on the actions, you can use a different scheme, right? Same thing with the workflows. If you wanted to use a different scheme for your workflows, you go into the workflows, you switch your scheme. But you'll notice that there is no button over here on the left-hand side for priority. So I wonder, at last, Ian, be cool to know if in the future you're going to want to add a priority section to the project or if you're going to just manage the, the assignment of the projects from that other UI. But in, in any case, this was very, very cool, very, very useful, and I really, really do like that change. Is your company looking for a compliant backup solution for Jira Cloud? Then look no further than Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud, made by my good friends over at Rewind. Rewind is proudly SOC2 compliant and data is encrypted in transit and at rest using TLS 1.2 and AES 256. Crush your security and compliance requirements and get started with a free trial of Rewind Backups for Jira Cloud. Use the link in the description down below. So that's pretty much it, folks. What do you guys think? I think this is a pretty cool thing, right? So let me just test it out. Let me make sure it works. I'm going to go into my project that I applied this to, which was my Kanban one. And I'm going to just open up one of these issues here. And I'm going to take a look. Now, what's interesting is that these issues existed beforehand. And so now when I click priority, there's a critical and major. So what I did not see at last, and if you're watching, is I didn't see a mapping, right? Typically, when you apply a new scheme, when you like do a new a new workflow, for example, and you've removed a, a priority that was there, but now is no longer there, there's usually a mapping. Now, I suspect because I clicked on medium and all my other ones were medium, I suspect that that's why that happened. But you know what? Let's, let's try it out. Let's actually go and delete. Let's go and delete the, the medium priority from this particular scheme. Let's just get rid of it. And let's see what it does. I would suspect that it's going to ask me. It's going to tell me, hey, you need to remap, right? And so we'll just make this critical here. Look at that. We're up in the priority scheme. So this is cool. So what I think is happening is it's going and doing it for you. Now, I don't know that I necessarily, I maybe I wanted to pick major as opposed to critical, but 
I'm assuming, right, again, not knowing how this thing works, I'm assuming that it's just going to go and grab my new default, which is now critical, and apply it to the project. So let's go find out. We're going to go back into our Kanban one. We're going to open it up, and sure enough, it made it critical. So what did we learn here? <laughs> Your default one is going to be very, very important. What I don't like is that when you swap these things around, it changes everything to that default one. I think it would have been cooler if it would ask you to map. So now let's, in fact, let's go try that out, right? Let's change this priority to major and let's leave it at major and let's go back into the priority scheme here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of major and I'm going to add, I'm going to add a uh, high list and let's see what that does, right? And so once I do that, I would expect that one issue that I had open. Yeah, see, it, it reverts it back to critical here. It reverts it to critical. You didn't get to see that. But as I added, let me just describe what I just did because I totally forgot to show it on screen. But all I did was I got rid of my, my major status that I had. This issue had a priority of, of major. I got rid of it. I swapped it out with highest. And what Jira does uh, behind the scenes is it allows you to it basically just sets it to your default uh, priority. At last end, no bueno. I think this is a miss. If you're listening, you're watching this, you should allow me to do the mapping. I should have some control just like I do with statuses uh, and just like I do with like issue types. I should be able to say, hey, I used to be this, I wanna be that, and let me do the mapping because I don't think people are gonna be happy if you're just moving those priorities to that default value. Anyways, that's it for this video. Again, first look, first uh, time using this and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And finally, don't, you, don't forget to check out all the links down below as I have links to my courses, my merch, and most importantly, the links to starting three free trials for the sponsors of these videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. So fight and fight.